This is the instructor's compass, and we will now tackle the topic arbitrariness in language. Again, that is arbitrariness in language. Arbitrariness came from the word arbitrary, of which arbitrariness of language means that the word form of the language does not right away connote its singular or accurate meaning. Well, to make this simple, it is very impossible for words to be non-arbitrary because arbitrary means the connotation given to a specific form varies, innovates, changes, and even migrates. Meaning, in time, words really change or innovate its meanings. Thus, if you will place words as non-arbitrary, then one word will mean its present meaning and even centuries will pass the word will never change its meaning, and that is quite impossible. Now, let me give you an arbitrary situation in words. Well, in the 80s or in the 1980s, when you say, let us liquidate the plants, that means you will do procedural ways to have the soil in the plants or on the plants be influenced with water. Because water is a part of the growing system of a normal plant. In the 1990s, when you say you have to liquidate a person, well, you will be amazed that liquidating during the time means you have to kill or murder a person or eliminate the person from a community or society. So the word changes its meaning again, and the most unique point here is that it has no relationship to the original meaning of the word. That's quite unique. That is how deep and how wide arbitrariness of words often occur. Now, in the 2000s, a person will tell you, please liquidate the cash that you have borrowed from me. This time, the meaning of the word liquidate is to itemize the wastage or the areas where the money allotted, borrowed, or entrusted went so that there will be balance in the accounting of the finances and nothing will be lost, which, if there is so, will be charged to the entrusted party. Now, if you noticed, we have only tackled one word here, and that is liquidate, you can just imagine how many words are there in the lexicon today and added to that how many languages are there to consider. If this will be considered, then we are talking about endless arbitration of words which means changes in meanings and at some points going back to the original meaning may happen more rapid than we can imagine of. Now, what caused language to have arbitration? Well, there are a lot of factors but I will share five with you. These are number one, migration, number two, adoption, number three, utilization, number four, modernization, and number five, social media. Migration arbitrariness happens when people from different cultures and languages join us and words are born, innovated, or even combined to mean another word. The word suke is an example. This is a migration from the Chinese word when we get used to having business with them. In China, it only means people we do business with. But in the Philippines, people we prefer in terms of anything is already called a suke. That is how the word evolved. Okay? Another is adaptation arbitrariness. This happens when people hear words from other languages or cultures and the fact that we have no direct translation to it in our language, it was used and often its meanings are extended. A good example here is noodles. This is an American word that refers to the main dish in a spaghetti menu. Now, in the Philippines, we adopt the word because there is no direct translation and we call also our spaghetti as noodles with sauce. But we also the word, we also use this word in another aspect such as referring to curly hair and we call that noodle hairs in the Philippines. The third is utilization, arbitration. This happens when we use the word differently from its original meaning because during the time of usage, the words have the greatest recall. Earlier, we have used the, words, the word liquidate. If you noticed, it changed meanings three times and that is utilization, arbitration in its greatest sense. That's the best example I can give you. The fourth is modernization, arbitration. 
This happens when the words are innovated to suffice the present need or the mod modernizing trend. So you have the word professional. In the 80s, long words are trending. But in the modern times, saying the word completely may mean to other people as a waste of time or too formal, so they would rather use the word pro. That's why in the basketball, you seldom uh, hear the words, a professional basketball player, and you just hear the words, he is a pro, meaning he is a professional. That is a modernized way of calling a professional in terms of the present day term, that is, a pro. Now, the common trend now, number five, is social media arbitration. Often, this is also called as the ruleless arbitration. Because any spelling, any word forms may exist here and does not coincide with any rules in English. That's why the fact that it has no coincidence with grammar is already a threat to the greatness of grammar. Today, the move to include in the lexicon the judgment terminology of the social media divided the linguistic community for it will surely have numerous effects. For me as a language teacher, I am against it for grammar is very sec very sacred to me. If you will inculcate judgment, it is as good as saying goodbye to grammar and goodbye to linguistic principles. That's how simple that is. Well, this is a simple view of arbitrariness of language. To conclude, arbitrariness of language is an acceptable fact because we cannot stop words from changing and improving its meanings. That is why today, hearing the words that create the right for conclusion already. What if the word is undergoing arbitration? Well, safest thing to do is hear the word, examine the word usage, and know the present meaning of the word. In that way, we can use the words correctly and understand it correctly. I hope you have understood something regarding the word arbitrariness, especially when we use it in linguistics. This is the Instructor's Compass, and I am Mentor Noi. See you again in the next topics that we will be tackling. God bless everyone.